and welcome to Smart Tesla News. This is Patrick. You're watching Tesla Trip, and it's been pretty exciting for the past couple weeks. I'm here at an electrified charging station in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm charging with the adapter that I showed off in a couple videos back. It's the the Senec Power CCS charger adapter, and I'm using it in my new model Plaid, the Model S Plaid, and. They said that apparently a lot of people watched the video. They now have a code for the US distributorship so you don't have to go through Alibaba anymore. And if you use this uh, bit.ly link below, apparently you can save like $36 on one. So that's cool. Um, I have noticed at Electrify America, I get better luck if I plug it in to the adapter with the adapter off. And you hold in the power button on the adapter and it'll turn off again if it was on then plug it into the car, and then turn on the adapter, and then it'll communicate and then use a credit card to pay. For some reason, when I try and use the actual Electrify America app, it doesn't work. It times out on the vehicle, the vehicle doesn't get a charge. Anyways, just some tips. I'm, I'm ho Hopefully they'll have another firmware update that fixes it. The firmware that I'm running on it right now is version 161. I also tried v161-1 no no real difference it does work but like i said it seemed like there's some weird stuff to get it going for me um, both in loveland colorado and here in las vegas the bigger tesla news they're actually going to put out their own real adapter so if you're willing to wait a little bit longer it sounds like in korea at the end of the month for the model uh three and y you'll be able to get an official CCS combo adapter. Who knows when it's gonna be available in America, and it said they need to do more testing for Model S and X, hence what's going on here with the, the third party adapter that's been made. And the really big news was the full self-driving beta came out, finally, to more people. So if you were a really good driver, if you could balance a cup of full water in your back seat without spilling it, and was able to maintain 100 out of 100 on the safety score for Tesla, then you could get the beta. And apparently there was around 1,000 people or under 1,000 people that got it last Friday. No, not last Friday. They delayed it until Monday. <laughs> and my wife had 99 point something, but she, she had to stop at one point and it was enough to drop her down under 100. It's pretty cool, the stats app. Uh, I'll have a link to it down below. It'll show you how many miles you need to get back up to 100 or up to the next level. And so my wife would have to drive at 1,000 miles of perfect to get back up to 100. I, I'm i at 96 right now, and if I wanted to get up to 100, I'd have to drive over 10,000 miles of perfect. So that ain't happening. It looks like they're going to do more people with the next release. This Friday, he's gonna release it to the people with the 99. So hopefully my wife will get one, get it then for the Mar our Model X. Hopefully I can get mine up to 98 and being in the wave with the 98s. I don't know if I'll be able to get to 99 by then. I have to go back to Las, from Las Vegas. The way the traffic is, it's probably gonna be more of a detriment than it is gonna be helpful. So the version of the full self-driving that's out right now is 10.2, so when 10. 3 comes out, then they'll be adding another two, you know, one or 2,000 people. If you haven't seen it yet, Tesla released a video of their safety labs and how they are improving the software for the airbags and everything related to the car and how it handles being in a wreck. And it's, it's pretty interesting on how much the, you know, they'll trigger whether or not the seatbelts need tightened, whether the airbags need deployed or not. and a bunch of other things to, to, to make the vehicles even safer than they already are. I don't know if any other automakers are doing that, especially like an over the air software update. So that's that's pretty cool. I just, I thought it looked cool <laughs> seeing how that works and the way that they explain it way better than I did. Check out the full video in the notes below. So the Tesla shareholder meeting, Elon announced there's just not enough parts and battery cells to do the Tesla Semi this year. It's been delayed until 2023, and that the Cybertruck's been delayed until next year. So the mass production of the Cybertruck probably won't be till 2023. They'll probably kick a few of them out at the end of next year, and then you know do, do them in the masses in 2023, along with the Tesla Semi after that. 
they're building a mega charger outside at Sparks, Nevada at the Gigafactory there. So it'll be interesting to see what they're going to do. Because right now they kind of like have this wonky way of plugging in four superchargers to charge the Tesla semis. Because I think the prototypes are more or less, you know, four full Teslas inside of them. <laughs> they got four, uh, uh, probably four batteries and four motors. And they're kind of just wiring it all together as a prototype. I don't know. If you know more, let me know down below. I just thought it's interesting that they're finally building these mega chargers. Because they're going to need it to have those uh, semis go. Because with the pricing that they had of the semis was around 100 and... I can't remember if it was 150, 175,000, depending on the range, or 200,000 for the higher range. But the, the massive amount of batteries is just staggering. Um, you could get a Plaid Model S or you could get a Semi. <laughs> um, and if, or you could get a, a Roadster for the high end one. And then the Cybertrucks, they're probably going to have similar capacity. They're going to have a lot more capacity than the current Teslas and the, and the new battery cells. The, that they're, they're going to be starting over in Giga Texas and Giga Berlin. There was also a big old party going on over there in Giga Berlin, and they showed off the new structural pack with the new cells in it and how the seats just attach to the pack, and then they have mega castings on the front and the back that just attach onto the battery, and that becomes the frame. So it's going to reduce the cost immensely and the time for production and supposedly it's going to even improve safety. The, everybody's big question is, well, how the heck are they going to work on the battery? Maybe the maybe the way the pack could open up on the bottom so they can get to the cells instead? Um, I don't know. But, yeah, they're saying it's kind of like how at battery day, the air, airplanes now have fuel in the wings. So the wings become the fuel tank. Now, so this is like the structure becomes the battery tank tank <laughs> and then the way you can cram in more cells and uh and apparently it's the frame of the car which is crazy cyber truck itself it's going to be an exoskeleton so that one's also paradigm shift like way different than what everybody else is doing and speaking of what everybody else is doing i saw a rivian driving down the road on the way to here so they are in customers hands it wasn't a dealer's plate on this I think, I can't remember if it was a California plate that I saw on it or a Nevada one, but it didn't say manufacturer and it wasn't a temporary. So I think it's a customer. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I have one on pre-order. I also have a, two Cybertrucks on pre-order and I also <laughs> have a Hummer and an F-150. Whoever gets it first, <laughs> I'm gonna get it. And if they're good, I'm, I'm probably gonna upgrade at my work, some some of the uh, dying vehicles to them, uh, if if it makes sense. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let let me know below if there's any cool news that I missed from the past week or two, and what you'd like to see out of this show. On a personal note, a few things. I had a, a major problem with my leg the past year. I got two babies. <laughs> I got a one-year-old and a two-year-old, and I, now that they're a little bit older and my leg was finally fixed, I uh, had some surgery to it, I want to get back into doing these videos more often, and I'd like to know what you guys would like to see, because this is fun. I love I love making these videos. I, I love seeing all the comments, and it's just a lot of fun. I love going to the Tesla events, hoping to do some autocross in this Model S Plaid soon as the track mode comes out, which Elon has tweeted about. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Please share, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff so they don't shut down my channel because I haven't been posting enough. Also check out my Two Smart Guys channel. And if you want a Tesla ring, they work on the new Model S's and the soon to be released Model X's. So you can get into the car in a style. <laughs> Talk to you later on Twitter. I'm at Walking Crow. Bye. This is Sawyer, actor extraordinaire. Show us your sad face. Oh, it's so sad. Now show us your happy face. Oh, it's so happy. <laughs> Get him a rinky do. I love you. Get him a rinky dinky dink. Get him a rinky do. I love you. 
Boy, the editor's gonna hate me for this. I'm the editor. Skatamarinky dinky dink, Skatamarinky dink. I 